and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our new stamp set, Scootin' By and its coordinating dies. This set is so cute and so much fun. We're also going to be introducing some new die sets. So we have our Slimline Road Border and our Slimline Simple Road Border. And these guys are so cute, either used with other sets or used with these brand new adorable scooters. We also have two new stencils to introduce today too. We have our Slimline Grassy Hillside stencils and our Simple Slimline Grassy Hillside stencils. First up, we're going to take a look at the stamp set and this stamp set is so fun. We've got this cute little bunny and then a scooter for him to ride. We have a fox, and then we have his scooter going in the other direction. We have this cute little mouse who of course has a cute little scooter to go along with him. We have a helmet for them. You can use the helmet on its own or we also have this little strap piece and I'll show you how to use it later on in the video. We also have some cute little accessories. So we have this little horn which you can stamp and use in either direction. And of course some little like beep horn sounds coming out of those horns there with those lines. We have these cute little trails of either hearts or smoke in case it's an electric scooter. And then these little zoom lines that you can also stamp in either direction. This set also has some really cute birthday stuff to go along with it. So we have these really cute balloons. We also have a little present and some party hats. So you could do a standard card with these or a really fun birthday card. We also have a cute little heart. And then we have some fun little words that I like to use with the scooters and the horns. So we have a zoom and a honk. And then some great sentiments that you can mix and match. So we have scootin or zoomin, and then we have buy to say, and then all these things that you can add to it. So we can use the word hi, have a happy day. We also have I like you. Then we have I miss you. And then just roll with it. We also have this really cute wheelie phrase. So you can stamp it on any of the phrases. You can say, I wheelie like you or have a wheelie happy day. So it's really cute and fun and you just kind of fit it right there in the sentiments. Next up, we're gonna add some color to these cute images using Copic markers. And I just love these little guys so much. The little scooters are so much fun. And you'll notice that we do have the characters separate from the scooters, and that's for a specific reason. It's because they work really, really great with the happy hug set that we showed you yesterday. And so later on in the video, I'm not only gonna show you how those work together, but we're gonna make a really cute flippin' awesome card with them that shows how they all work together. So that's why we have these characters separate from the scooters. So here you can see that I'm adding some color to these scooters and I actually used kind of a new color combo for me and I tried to kind of put it along all of the elements of the card. I'm still not sure about it because I always like to do like a turquoise and a pink and a yellow but I think it's good to try some new things. So anyways I'm doing that and then here you can see how I'm going to color in the fox. These are my ultimate favorite colors for the fox. I think I always use these markers every single time. I just think he looks so cute with it and that lightest marker really gives him a nice little highlight that you can see there like at the top of his ears and his head. I just think it adds a lot to him. And then just to give the white areas of the fox a little extra something, I added some warm gray and blended it out with the colorless blender. Next up, I'm using some warm grays for this cute little mouse. I just love him so much. And I'm blending out from dark to medium and then to light, kind of just going over the edges in little circles to really help blend everything together. I love the mice because you can use a lot of different colors with them, but I like the mix of the kind of like light brown bunny, the reddish fox, and then the warm gray mouse. They look really, really cute together. These are some new green markers like I was talking about. I'm trying to bring in a new color and not always stay in my same color rut. And I think it looks really, really cool on the scooter because they almost feel almost kind of metallic there. And so I'm going to use these same markers for the rest of the elements in the set so that everything's going to kind of coordinate if I use them all together. I love elements like these balloons and party hats because they're really cute with this set, but I love mixing and matching them with critters from other sets that I have too. So they're just fun elements to always have on hand. And also these sentiments are so fun. That zoom in sentiment, that's perfect to use with our virtual friends stamp set. So you can say zoom in by to say I like you with that whole cute computer theme. So the zooming works for the scooters and it works for our whole cute computer desk theme as well. 
So these are the coordinating dies for the stamp set, which you can bend apart at the tabs or use your wire snips to separate. We're gonna take that die there, we're gonna line it up with the stamped image and use our post-it note to hold it in place. We're gonna run them through the die cut machine and we're gonna have perfectly cut out images every time. And then here you can see all of the images in the set. I love that there's so many images to mix and match together. And so you can add these cute little critters to their scooters, which I think is just so sweet and fun. And then you can use them with just the scooters or then you can play around with the extra added elements in the set too. I just love seeing them with their cute little party hats and the helmet is so sweet and fun too. And those little trails behind them are really awesome. Now for the helmet, we do have the little strap and the reason it's separate is we wanted the helmet to work with all the characters. So here I'm gonna put the strap over to the left and now I can use it on the bunny. And then all you need to do is just take that strap and move it over to the right to be able to use it with the fox. So that's why the strap is separate. We can just layer that just like that. And now we can add the helmet to the fox. You can also use the helmet without the strap if you prefer. So I love that there's lots of fun and different options. Now, right now, I'm gonna show you my favorite part about this whole thing, and that's how Scoot and Bye and Happy Hugs work together. So these little guys, it looks like they're running towards each other, right? Well, they're the same characters in the Happy Hug stamp set. So they're running towards each other and then they hug. I mean, oh, doesn't that just warm your heart? I just love it so much. So here is that Happy Hug stamp set that we introduced yesterday. You can also do a similar idea with the mouse. So we have the running mouse and then we have a lot of mice in other sets so he could be running towards a sitting mouse. So I just think this is just so cute and fun and I can't wait to show you the flippin' awesome card with this towards the end of the video. Now these are the slimline road border dies and I love these dies so much because they're the awesome slimline size and you can use them together or separately. So the bottom one is really great for more of like a dirt road kind of look and then you can take the other road and layer it on top. So of course I like to do black with maybe white or yellow coming through with the line. So you can layer them together or not. And there you can see the beautiful stitching detail on kind of the dirt road part or that piece becomes the part that colors in the detail of the road. So I love how they mix and match. And we have a road border that's for A2 cards and now we have the awesome slimline style. We also have the roads in the simple style too. So if you want just the simple road versus the bumpier road. And remember that in Lawn Fawn World, all of these hills are always the same, whether A2 or slimline. So for example, that bumpy one, you can use the slimline slider dies that are included in the slimline dies and use and mix and match with those. So I love that everything mixes and matches and always works together. So yes, you can use your sliders. They're gonna line up with these roads too. And so here you can see you can do the dirt road or you can layer it behind it and then you have a road with those little stripes kind of filled in. We also have our new grassy stencils and we have them in both the simple style. And so we have two different versions of the hill kind of with less of a slope and more of a slope. And there you can see that they include the really awesome grid lines that help you line it up. And there's little markings for the length of a slimline card for both here in a landscape and also in a portrait. So I feel like those lines just kind of help you line everything up and keep everything nice and straight. And we also have these in the grassy hillside style. So we have the simple and the bumpy in these grassy stencils. So I love that we now have these in the slimline style too. And of course these grassy hillsides have those same awesome grid line marks to help you line everything up. So these stencils work just like our A2 stencils work. They help you create a really cool grassy detail on your cards. So we're just gonna line that up and just ink over it and create this really cool grassy simple hillside. Once we ink that all up, we can remove the stencil and you'll see that we have this really cool, awesome look for our cards. Now, what I love about these stencils is they include the mask. So the top part is the mask. All you need to do is slide it down and just cover up your grass. And now you're able to add your sky and your grass is protected. So I love that the stencils work this way. It makes it so easy to do that. And all of them work this way, whether it's the grassy hillsides or the simple hillsides. And so now you can see as we remove the stencil, we've got our grass protected from the blue and we're able to fill in that whole sky, which is such a cool look. And so the same thing is gonna work with all of the different hills and stencils. So here is a fast motion look at the rest of these hills. So here we have our other simple hill, and then we of course can have our bumpier hillsides and we can once again create our grass and mask it and then create our sky. And I love that you can also mix and match all these hills and layer them on top of each other, which is super cool too. And so here you can see all of the awesome looks that we got with these stencils. Next up, Shari is going to create a slimline card and then a slider card, and I'll be creating a flippin' awesome card after that. So take it away, Shari. 
I'm going to be making a slimline card today that uses the new Scooting By stamp set with the little critters scooting around on this new road die that we have here. So this is the slimline road borders and I've cut the solid from some narwhal cardstock and once I turn it correctly I've got the top layer from some storm clouds so you get that lighter gray stripe through the center of the road when you layer them together. I'm going to be making my background out of some Into the Woods paper. I like this paper with the clouds. And then I'm going to layer that over top of the rainbow paper. So I'm just cutting the rainbow paper to three and a half by eight and a half. So it's the size of my slimline card. And then I'm going to use one of the slimline dies to cut out my cloud paper. So I'm going to get that nice stitching detail around it. I'm going to also use the new grassy slimline stencil because it matches the same curve as my road. So I'm lining up my road where I want it to be onto my panel here. And I'm just going to tape it down and hold it in place. And this is going to allow me to line up my grassy stencil. So you can see that it's the same curve as the road. And I'm going to put it to where that grass just peaks up above the road. I'm going to use my magnets to hold my stencil in place while I do my stenciling. And I'm going to be stenciling with some Distress Oxide ink. And I'm using the Distress Oxide because it's a pigment ink. So it's going to cover up these clouds. So we don't want clouds <laughs> below the road. But with this ink, it's going to cover it up and you're not going to see it. So I'm just putting a layer of this ink all over the bottom of this panel so you can see that it is covering up those clouds rather nicely. You're not going to see them at the bottom. And once I have this completely covered, I'm actually going to go in with just a little bit of rustic wilderness at the top, just for a little bit darker grass at the top. Then I'm going to give this all a quick spritz with some water because that's going to make the ink oxidize and it's going to give it some texture. So I'm just going to hold my sprayer up really high, give it a couple squirts, not too much because this is pattern paper versus watercolor paper, but you can see how it gives it texture and changes. And then I'm going to hit it with my heat tool and dry it. So you can see how that water really changes the way that that ink looks. Now I can add my road that I put together earlier. And I'm just going to line it up with the curve of the grass. So it's going to end up where I had it earlier. And actually what I was trying to do when I was lining it up before was that low curve, the dip in the road, I wanted to hit right at the bottom of the panel as well as the bottom right corner. And then I'm just going to trim off the excess that's overhanging my panel. And now I can put all my cute little critters that I've already colored and cut out with the coordinating dies. I'm going to start to assemble them. So I'm going to put them on their scooters first. So I've got my little rabbit here and they're going to a party. So I'm putting some party hats on them. I've got the little mouse. He has a smaller scooter. So I'm just going to put him on there. And the way I like to look at this is they're going to go see the fox. It must be his birthday. So the little mouse has his present up there and then we've got the balloons trailing behind. I just love these cute little balloons that you can put like they're trailing behind the scooter. I'm going to put my little fox on his scooter and he doesn't have a hat because it's a surprise party so but he has the little horn that's on his scooter. And then I'm just going to place them where I want them to be on my road. And I'm doing this now. I'm not gluing them down just yet because I want to stamp my sentiment up in the sky above them. So I'm going to use the sentiment in this set that says scootin' by to say have a happy day. And I'm just stamping that in black ink along the top. Now that I've got that stamped, I can start to assemble my card. So that rainbow piece of paper that I cut earlier, I'm just going to layer that onto a card base. This is three and a half by eight and a half. 
And then I want to pop up the panel where all my critters are going to be. So I've put some foam tape all over the back of that. And I'm just going to line that up and center it on the card base. And so we're going to have that fun rainbow stripe peek out from all the sides, which gives a lot of color to this card. So now that that panel's on there, I can put my little critters on here. I'm going to pop those up as well with some foam tape, or some foam squares rather. Put my little fox on the right side. My little bunny on the left. And I'm using some thin foam squares for this. Since I already have foam on the back, I don't want it to get too fat. And then I can add my little mouse on his scooter. And then finally to finish it off, there's a little stamp in there like someone's honking the horn. I'm going to add those stamped in front of the little horn on the fox's scooter. And here is my finished card, which I just think is so adorable and would be perfect for a birthday. So for this card, I'm going to be making a slider card with that cute little fox and his scooter. That's what's going to slide across my card. I've used my largest stitch rectangle to cut some panels of cilantro cardstock, noble fur, as well as a panel of spiffy speckles for my sky. And I'm going to start out by cutting my little slider and figuring out my placement. And that's going to show me how high I can cut my grass. So I'm just going to get both of these in place and run it through my die cut machine in one pass. So I've got the top of my grass and I've got my slider and I'm going to keep the piece that goes in that slot. And then for my trees, I'm actually using the puffy clouds. I like to use puffy clouds as trees pretty often. So I've just laid my grass so I know where to cut my trees in the background. So you can see how these are all going to layer together. And I'm just going to lay them together and go ahead and stamp my sentiment up in the sky. So I'm using this sentiment that says, zooming by to say I really like you. So I'm going to stamp this out in some black ink just close to the top up here. And then that really stamp is kind of like you forgot to add the word, like if you were marking up a paper. So it's got that little arrow that points up there, which I just think is super fun. I'm putting some adhesive on the back of that spiffy speckles paper and I'm going ahead and putting it onto my card base. And then I can go ahead and do the same thing with these trees back in the background. I'm going to lay my grass on there, hold it in place with some tape. And I'm taking that piece that was cut out when I cut the slider slot and I'm just going to drop that right in there so that it's going to line up perfectly and everything's going to be that lighter green. So now that that is in place, I can figure out where to put my foam tape. I'm going to use a dime instead of a penny and I'm just sort of tracing with my pencil where its path is going to be so I can see where to put my foam tape and where I need to avoid. And I've just taken my foam tape and cut it in half so it's skinnier and I'm just basically making a border all the way around this grass. So I'm going to lay my dime in that slot where it's going to be. I'm just going to lay it here for right now. And I'm going to pull off that backer paper from all of my foam tape. And then I can carefully line it up over top. So now that dime is trapped inside there. And I'm using my powder tool that I use for embossing just to kind of make it slide a little bit better. So I've got the little helmet here for the fox and then there's this stamp that's a Y. It is actually, it has a die that cuts it out but I thought it would be cute to stamp it. So I stamped it first and then I'm going to attach his helmet to his head. So that little Y shaped piece is the strap for the helmet that's going under his chin. And then I can go ahead and put him on his scooter. 
So I'm putting a little piece of foam tape on that dime there. This is where this box is going to attach. So I'm attaching it to his body because that's the biggest part. So that scooter's just hanging out there in front. You would see the dime or the penny or the washer or whatever you used if you put it behind the scooter because it's really thin. So you want to be sure you put that behind the fox. And then I'm just going to finish off with some clouds in the sky. These are the puffy cloud frames. I love using these up in the sky. And I'm also using some of the hearts cut from the heart and stars with the skinny tag die. I just cut these from guava cardstock as well as some raspberry cardstock and I'm just sprinkling those around. And I'm just going to trim off the clouds that overhang the sides of my card. And then here's that finished card. You can see the little fox. He's just so much fun. I love how he slides while he's riding his scooter across the grass. Next up, we're going to create a flippin' awesome card that is going to combine scootin' by with happy hugs. And so the first thing we're going to do is take out the main flippin' awesome piece, and we're going to die cut that from some white cardstock. The die creates these really great score lines for you and I'm going to start to fold along those score lines. So there's four different lines and you can see that there's some that are spaced close together and then there's one that ends up in the center and kind of folds the whole thing in half. So we're going to fold all of these lines and I'll go one by one. And then after I fold these lines, I always like to fold them back in the other direction. And the reason for that is it kind of helps the flip and awesome move even better. So I'm going to go back in the other direction and just kind of fold those lines. And once again, that's going to help with the action of the flip and awesome die. Next up, we're going to take our Spiffy Speckles 6x6 pad, and I love using these for skies. So I'm going to take the white one that has kind of the turquoise speckles on it, and we're going to die cut it with the square die included in the flip and awesome set. And we're going to die cut that four different times. Next, I'm going to die cut that same square from some cilantro cardstock, and this is going to become our grass. So we're going to die cut that, and then we we'll take the grassy border die and line it up along the bottom. And I'm going to repeat this four times so that I have grass for all of my pieces. Then we can take some tape runner and add it to the back of each of the grass pieces and line them up on the bottom of each of our squares. And these are going to become our four little mini scenes. Next up, we're going to start working with that flip and awesome piece that we were folding at the beginning. And we're going to attach these panels to the piece. And so you'll see that when we created those folds, you kind of have a square there at the end. We're going to add adhesive to the entirety of that square and attach it flat down to that flip and awesome piece. The next pieces are just going to be attached in those little rectangles there. So you'll see the score line has created three different rectangles. We're going to add a strip of adhesive and then attach that panel. And so now you'll see that only part of that panel has been attached to the flip and awesome mechanism. And we'll repeat that two more times. So we'll add some adhesive in between those score lines and then attach our seam piece and then some more adhesive between those two score lines and that skinny rectangle there. And then we can attach our last piece. Now it's time to start decorating these panels, and I'm going to take out the Scootin' By stamp set, of course, and the Happy Hugs stamp set. And I went ahead and stamped and colored and die cut some images from these sets. So here you see I've got my bunny, and then I've got the fox, and then the bunny and the fox hugging. And I made sure to color the bunny and the fox that are separate, and then the ones that are hugging the same. So it's kind of like this whole little scene, this animation that's going to happen on this flippin' awesome card. So I'm adding some tape runner to each of these and attaching them to the panel. I like tape runner for this because it makes a nice flat card so everything's going to lay nice and flat before you pull on the mechanism. Now for the last panel it's going to be a part of the sentiment and so this here says can't wait to hug you but I'm going to do something special so I want to actually just stamp can't wait to. So I actually just took my scissors and just trimmed my stamps it apart. It's easy to do this because you can stamp it separate but if you want to stamp them together you can just butt the two stamps up together kind of like a little puzzle and stamp the full sentiment again. So I cut a lot of my stamps apart this way. Next up, we're going to add adhesive to those two tabs that kind of look like the top of a T right there. And we're going to use some nice, strong, double-sided adhesive tape. You definitely want to use strong adhesive on these two tabs because this is the only part of the Flipping Awesome mechanism that's going to attach to your card base. So I'm going to add two strips to each of those. And then we're going to go ahead and take, this is the Flippin' Awesome add-on, and it's this great little perfectly sized scalloped rectangle. And we're going to die cut some perfectly plaid remix paper with that, and I think that looks so cute there. And then we're going to start working on attaching this mechanism to that base. So what we're going to do is we're going to peel up that liner paper on both sides to expose the adhesive. 
we're gonna fold this piece in half. So the blank piece is gonna go around the back and then we're going to gently hug around those tabs. You don't want those tabs to be too tight because we wanna make sure that our mechanism can freely move. Next, we'll line up the mechanism in that flippant awesome add-on piece. And once we have it in perfect placement, we can press down to make sure the adhesive on those tabs is secured down to that pattern paper piece. So I'm just gonna press down, make sure it's nice and secure. And now we can go ahead and pull the tab and see how it works. Look how cute that is. The next thing we're going to do is decorate that piece that comes out as you pull the tab. And in the Flip and Awesome add-on, there's this great stitched rectangle that fits that area perfectly. So we're going to die cut it from that same spiffy speckles paper and the same cilantro cardstock. I want the grass to line up so it looks like one continuous scene. So I'm actually just going to tuck that green piece in just for a second there. I'm not adhering it, just tucking it in just for a visual. And then I'm going to take that die and kind of line it up with the grass that's already there and then hold it in place onto my green rectangle. Then I can run that through the die cut machine and I'm gonna have grass that's the perfect height that's gonna line up with the grass on the other side. We'll attach that grass down and then we'll work on the rest of the sentiment. So I wanted the word hug to kind of be the star of the show. And there's this great stamp set called Long Distance Hugs that has these awesome words that have dies that go with them. So I stamped it in some ballet slippers ink and then I went ahead and die cut that with the die. Now, I don't want the word hugs, I just want the word hug. Well, that's no big deal. I'm just gonna take my scissors out and just cut that S right off. So I'm just following the curve of the die cut there and you'll see that it looks just perfect. And now we have the word hug, which is really cool. Now in the Happy Hug stamp set, there's a bunch of different styles of the word you. So I'm just kind of playing around to see which one I think is gonna look the nicest with the font that's the can't wait to. And so I'm just gonna kind of line that up there. I'm once again laying down the piece, just making sure that everything's gonna line up. So it's one nice straight can't wait to hug you. I'm going to use some liquid glue here, the glue tube to attach the word hug. You wanna make sure it's really nice and secure so that it doesn't get in the way of the action of the mechanism. Now we have this new die called the Hearts and Stars Skinny Tag, and there's all these different sizes of hearts that make the perfect little confetti for cards. So we're gonna die cut that from some textured dot cardstock, and we're gonna add some hearts on both of these panels. This is a nice way to also help connect the two panels and bring in that nice pink ink on the word hug. So I'm gonna add two hearts to the square panel and then one heart at the end of the rectangular panel. To attach that rectangle, we're going to tuck it in behind that can't wait to hug you panel. So there's almost like a little pocket that's created when you put the whole flip and awesome together. We're gonna tuck that in and then look on the right side to make sure that that white gives you a nice even border around your stitched rectangle panel. Once you see that even border, you know you have it in perfect placement, we'll press down and then we're just gonna push in now and just make sure everything's nice and secure. Then I'm gonna flip that over and add some foam squares to the back of this. I really like to attach this with foam squares because it gives the recipient some room to really get their fingers in there and pull on the tab. For the card base, we're gonna add some more textured dot cardstock from the Tropical Pack here. I really love this color. And then we're gonna attach that whole flippin' awesome panel on with those foam squares. The Flippin' Awesome die set comes with some decorative arrow tabs that let the recipient know what to do. We're gonna die cut one of those and also adhere that on with some glue tube. And if you've never made a Flippin' Awesome card before, make sure to check out our intro video. We'll link it in the description below. And now the card is all done and look how cute this is. It's like this fun little animation with this awesome sentiment at the end. I just adore this card so much and I love that these two stamp sets can be mixed and matched together. How fun and cute is this? I can't wait to send this off. I've actually already got it in the mail to someone very special. So I'm pretty excited about that. Next up, I wanted to show you some incredible cards by the design team. And first up, here are those two super cute cards that Shari made earlier in the video. I love that this set is great with slimline cards and A2 size cards. And these little sliders are perfect for these scooter critters. Next up, we have a gorgeous card by Elena. And I love how she has the layers of the three roads with the stenciling in the background. So beautiful. This slimline card by Maureen is so cute. I love how she added all of those trees in the background. It really makes me feel like I'm scooting in the park. I love how Yanea layered grass in behind and in front of the road. I think it makes it look so cool and that bunny really looks like he's just zooming along. 
These cards by Elise are so sweet. I love that she created kind of this cool custom Polaroid look and these fun scenes on both of these cards. I love how Elise always makes multiples of cards. So as you're creating, you can create kind of two versions at once and you'll have even more cards to send out to people. Next up, we have a beautiful card by Audrey. I love her watercolored background, and there's a little sneak peek at a die that's coming up later on in our intro videos in a couple of days. I just love them running to hug each other. This card by Tammy is so sweet. I love how she used the word scootin' with our Oliver's ABCs dies. Megan combined the scooter set and happy hugs together in such a cute way. I love how he's got his thought bubble and that I miss you die cut below is adorable. Grace's flippin' awesome card, oh my goodness, it just blows me away. Look how cute these little panels are. And at the end, they've got the rainbow and they're hugging. Oh, I just love it so much. He's left the scooter to the side and he's running towards his friends. Oh, how cute is that? Callie's card is so sweet and I love the use of the three roads so that you can use all three critters on a card front. Here I just adore this card by Mindy. How sweet is it with the little squirrel sitting there from the happy hug set? So fun. Those balloons and the party hats just add so much cuteness. And here I love Lynette's card and that sentiment might be a little hint at something coming towards the end of June. Here is a fun slimline slider card using these guys, which is so much fun to have them slide back and forth. And then this card by Leticia is just so cute. I love that she used the plaid paper as the sky. We cannot wait to see what you guys create with Scootin' By, so make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today, and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.